Hello, this is Jamie from randomizeuser.com with episode 7 of Starbound Toxic Lair. Right, so last time we built Fort Noxious, um, guarding all our most precious treasures with this rather ingenious light-based uh, switching mechanism. So when, when this room is incredibly dark, the door to the, the safe opens, um, and there's all sorts of switches and things like that. I thought that was rather funky. All guarding our most precious treasures, such as four saplings. Um, I think I removed all the cash at the end of the last episode. Also, of course, the incredibly secure fire exit. Hooray! Right, so in this episode, I thought we'd have a bit of a space theme. We're going to build a nice big evil space base right next to our toxic lair. Then we can go into space and punch an alien. Ow, 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 ow. It's raining. It's always bloody raining on here. Uh, okay, okay, let's just, just get into shelter. Um, there's been a bit of an explosion here, I'm afraid. <laughs> So yes, on this island we're going to build a little space base. We're going to build a great big Cape Canaveral style thing with an upwards pointing rocket. Um, and also, I think there's some, this red scaffolding here would actually be perfect for recreating that kind of um, scaffolding that goes up against the rocket before it takes off. Uh, we're not going to get the, the obviously we're not going to get the rocket to take off. Um, we could do with some bloody space shuttles in this game, but if only someone had come up with that idea, eh? Ugh. I actually just tonk him. He's looking at me funny. Right. Heal up. Right, so really, I didn't, I, what I need to do, first of all, is... I really want it to stop raining. Uh, maybe I should just build a shelter over it all. Um, because, let's see, if I put the rocket here, if I sort of, like, flatten this off a bit... Oh, that is not, that's not ideal. Uh, let me just put a shelter in. Um, so if I flatten this off a bit, put down some good metal or something, that can be our rocket's launch pad. That's the word I was looking for. Launch pad. Oh look, Tetris. Someone's playing Tetris in the background. In fact, the, the whole background does look a bit kind of Cape Canaveral-ish. If, if it was set on a toxic layer in purple for some reason. Ugh. Anyway, so yeah, I'll put a rocket here. And we'll, we'll need to have a kind of like a really gadget-filled, what do you call it, the NASA room of people shouting a lot. We're looking at computers. Um, Esports. No, not, not, not eSports. Um, launch control. Or, I don't know, some sweaty basement anyway. So we'll have one of them. We'll have something like a satellite dish. And maybe uh, a moon. <laughs> yes. So I thought this would be a good base material for our launch pad. I don't know how much of the, the acid lake below there I'll bother mining out. Maybe none of it. Maybe I'll just leave it. Uh, right, there we go. That's not much of anything at the moment, I admit. That lever really should go in like the... Ah! That was a good shot. Oh, that was almost another good shot. Hang on, let's just, let's just tonk. Tonk! There we go. Phew! Ha! Huh. Right. So, yeah, I think if we build the... Ooh, I don't know, though. Because it's going to be butting up against the scaffold. Okay, let's just take... Let's extend this to the left a bit. Thank God, it's bloody morning at last. Okay, so I am going to do what I said. I'm going to put the control room here. It's going to be a... No, maybe this is the science room. Maybe this is kind of like the... I've just made this up now. The, the technology room. Maybe the launch um, control thing can be somewhere over to the left. But we definitely do need a room full of gadgetry here, I think. So let's just quickly get rid of this tree. Ow, 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 ow. Yep, sod, sod the wood. It's no good to us now. Um, in fact, let's just um, temporarily do this. <laughs> it's a bit shit. Um, yeah, but hey, what the hell. Right, so... Oh, this lever's gonna be... How do I get... Look, it's... That's wired up. I do not want to disturb it, because... I'm not rewiring that piece of... Fuck. <laughs> so... I'm gonna sort of, like... Gingerly work my way around it. Oh! What the... Yeah. I, I forgot about that tech I've got. Uh, right. And now we need to put up a room. So... Let's... Do that. That's just gonna have to stay there. with all dirty in that. Um, how are we, gonna, are we gonna be able to... I think there's gonna have to be a door here, isn't it? There's gonna have to be a little... That that creature's... Oh! <laughs> well, that solves the boat problem. Uh, bye. <laughs> right, one um slightly prison-like build later, and we have ourselves a nice little housey poos. This lever, um, well, I've tried to hide it the best I can, um, but you can just about get it. Um, because you, you, you have to have line of sight with it to operate it, so I've done a little jiggery-pokery here. I kind of like need some platforms and things. Um, I don't really want to use wood. Um, where is it? Oh, yeah, modern platform right there. So for once, we'll actually use something proper and futuristic. 
them cost me a bit of cash, that's... But it's okay, I think I've got enough. Don't think I'll be needing them. So, we have basically a platform across here. Um, we don't really want to do that all the way across, so let's just have a kind of... thing there, for whatever reason. Um, we'll also have that there, just for completeness' sake. Now we need to put some electronic equipment in here, so we will have to go off um, off planet to find some stuff, I think. And this, I think, is fairly hefty. I think this is all we need, really. I'm going to finish it off just like that. Um, and also, once once everything's sorted... In fact, I might as well just take this down now, because it's not as if... Um, well, as soon as I start building the rocket, that's going to be well in the way. So, I think, yeah, I think we need to start gathering some raw materials. We need a lot more of that red scaffolding stuff, which I'm sure I can find on this planet. But then we'll have to go off-planet, as I say, to find more um, gubs for our little um, science hut over to the right. Ow! 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 Uh, 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 uh. Let's, get into the, let's get into the acid. That'll save us. Uh. <laughs> I do like exploding things. Uh, okay, so let's um, heal up. So, in fact, what I'll do, instead of going across the surface, this is so easy to mine out, that all I have to do is this. And look, there's some more scaffolding type stuff. Um, oh my god, they're, they're massing! Uh, it's a trap! Uh, uh, uh. Is that a lever? Oh no, it's not, it's just his tail. <laughs> I, thought he, I thought he was hiding another lever that I hadn't put in. Most mysterious. Right, kill. Just ki get rid of these. 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 Oh, they're gone. They're fine. Huh. Safe at last. What is this structure? It looks like it might be full of acid, but that should be okay because, well, I'm, um, I'm, I'm immune. Wow, an outpost support beam. Ah. Oh, this is lots of good raw material, including red heavy pipes. Ah, I usually have to spray these red. Uh, this is the next island along. Looks like there's a um, one of these things here. There's there's one of these on, on the very first place I spawned, actually. Oh, maybe this is ah, maybe this is the maybe I've just got all, already gone around in a circle. Maybe it's a tiny planet. No, it's not. Ah, that's okay. I'm safe in here, aren't I? Uh, well, I think I'll just carry on. Yeah, I think it, yeah, it's, it's a decent size. So I'll carry on getting some more red girders, and then we'll go off planet. In fact, I'm bored. <laughs> Uh, I'll, I'll get some more later. Let's go to another planet. Uh, right, just heal up. And let's see where we can go. An arid landscape. Um, I don't think I've been here so far. Um, I can't be bothered to go out of system. So I'll just sti stick around here for a while. Now I've just got to wait. So what am I looking for? I'm looking for kind of science-y type places. So places where there's like scientists working in kind of outposty type structures. Huh. Also, and um, what we should do whilst we wait is get dressed up for the occasion of being a spaceman. Um, in one of these chests, I think I've got a full space outfit. Oh, that might be it. That one. Yeah, there we go. So, I need to just swap out. Is that it? Spaceship. There it is. All this stuff. I'll put it where I can find it. And. There we go! In fact, let's just um, bung all this back together so I know exactly where it is without it getting lost. There we go! This is more like it. Now I feel a bit more Cape Canaveral. That's that's how all the Cape Canaveralites are dressed in the current um, <laughs> the current time that it is right now. What the hell is that? Oh, that means there's... I know what this means. It means there's a USC... Um, B U bunker, <laughs> mate, mate. There we go. Is this all good stuff? What is this stuff? Uh, smooth plated block. Uh, this might be useful. Right. It, ow, 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 ow. Here we go. Now there's bound to be lots of good stuff here to swipe. Exactly the sort of stuff I need. It might not be quite sciency enough. I was hoping for actual sciency stuff rather than the USCM. Um, but yeah, there's going to be lots of extractor fans and things like that, which is actually something that I wouldn't mind. Oh, also, yeah, okay, um, I can I can deal with all this. Uh, oh, oh, ah. oh, hello. Let me grab some of this. Technology! Science! Eight picture! Oh, lo look, oh, 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 mate! Ha, 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 ha! Use my Neo Chakram to absolutely no advantage whatsoever. 
arcade machine, sofa, a uh, thing. Oh uh, god, cash for days. Um, anything else? Uh, some s science station of some kind. Uh, and you. And a, a really crap bulb as well. And some extractor pans. That's pretty much all I probably need. I, I don't think I need to like go too crazy. Right, um, yeah, my inventory is absolute nightmarish. Um, look at it! It's all full of stuff! Um, I, I kind of like want to make this a bit more of a funky building, but I don't think we're going to have time. I think I'll, um, I'll put all my energy with those new blocks that I collected, all the um, smooth metals and plated blocks and things. I'll do that in the, um, the control centre, launch control, whatever. And for this one, I'm just going to bung it full of... Let's see, first of all the space radiator, because we want to be nice and space warm. Let's put that under there. So the lever room is going to be <laughs> warm as anything. That's going to be... What is this? It's a anomalous display. That's no moon. Oh, <laughs> that's actually very appropriate then. And because we're going to be building a sort of moon, if, if we can be bothered. Um, make sure you can actually see the anomalous thing in me, Bob. No, I need more science. I don't, I don't want to spend it on trivialities. There's some more detectors. This this should really this sort of thing should really go in the um in the control room, shouldn't it? Okay. Well, yeah, I'll put that I'll put this in the control room instead and put some other types. This can be the this can be the restroom. This can be the space restroom. <laughs> well, okay, so let's start building some scaffolding. So, I guess the rocket will be there and the scaffolding will be here. And we've got to make sure that the bottom of this is walk throughable. And we've also got lots of metallic sp support beams and stuff like that which will be rather Nice. Graphically. So is there anything else we need to put in the inventory? Support beam. Actually, let's use some let's use some of this now. Go to the light. There we go. Right, so first of all, let's um let's put this in the background. Um, so we know what's going on. There we go. And then put that on top like that. I know that doesn't make a huge amount of sense. It's just fairly random. Um, in fact, let's just do that, like that. And then on top of that, we can start going mad. Um, right, so... Ah! There. <laughs> the end. No. <laughs> uh, right. Okay, so the eagle-eyed amongst you might notice I've done something what engineers call tear the whole lot down and start again. And because I, th I thought of a better idea, instead of random scaffolding, we'd actually have a lift shaft. Um, an elevator shaft going up and down here, and we continue the kind of like the background girder theme over here. Oh, the rain has, the rain has obligingly stopped, um, which is rather nice of it. So I think I need to have background in a lift shaft, otherwise it won't take. Uh, might be wrong like that. We'll have a look. And um, where's my elevators? There they are. Um, let's put it there for the time being. Yeah, there we go. Um, I can put the first one in. Um, bit rough and ready, but never mind. Uh, and then we can continue our Garda theme. Um, hop, there we go. Now we need to continue doing the... Uh, uh, now we need to continue doing our background stuff. Um, quick, before the elevator comes back. Uh, no. <laughs> I shouldn't have put that in. Uh, just yet, anyway. Right, and now I can go up in the air. Okay, I won't go... T I won't actually do any more for the time being. We'll see how large the rocket gets, which is going to be here. Um, it's a bit... It's going to be a bit thinner than I expect. No, it's, it's going to be about right. It's all fine. Um, so we need to start building the actual rockets. Oh, what do rockets look like? Well, op yeah, I know, I know vaguely what they look like, but you know what I mean. Let's make it like... It's going to have two kind of um, thingamabobs at the bottom. Probably full of lava or something. In fact, I think I've probably already got some lava. Eight. Oh. Oh! And also I can't place it down because there's no background. I'll have to go and get some more lava as well. Um, God damn it. Um, let's see how how close are these going to be. Well, let's have it there. Uh, huh. Same size, otherwise the when the rocket takes off it, it'll go in a circle. Is that right? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's about right. So that's going to be the bum. The, the rocket's bum. Let's do that. Do that. You're not going to be able to get to the rocket. I'm not going to put any kind of... What I'm going to do, I think, is going to put a passageway... Die. I'm going to pass a passageway through through there where the acid is and have a little door there. Um, because I think just having looked at a picture of one of the old Apollo rocket type things... I think it's Apollo. Um, there's, 
there's a kind of like a, this is the this will be the kind of like the actual lunch pad, but there's also a much larger um kind of white thing in me. Uh, whatever. <laughs> Let's just build the bloody rocket. Okay, it doesn't look great at the moment, obviously, but I'm just really do concentrating on the outline. Um, it's not a great outline. It's um, it's a bit strange. Um, but I think I'm already up to the what I suppose is the uh, the the capsule at the top now. Um, kind of a bit more, and then it kind of comes to a point or something. I don't know. Right, uh, right. Do the same on this side. Do 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 do. Don't want to cap it off just yet. Oh, it's not an odd number. That's annoying. So that's kind of the outline. It's is that really kind of. It's a bit fat. It's a bit of a fat rock here. Um, but I think I'm, I'm okay with that. So do I... F how do I fill this in? Do I fill it in solid or back... I kind of like the idea of you being able to actually get in it. Even though, in theory, a rocket doesn't work like that. Um, but uh, I might do that anyway. <laughs> Sod you all. Um, but I'll have to fatten out the walls a bit first, I think. Right, um, actually getting there now. Um, I've designed it so it's kind of like a series of rooms. Um, again, that's not our rocket's work, I know. This is supposed to be like the, the, the capsule where the astronauts are, but I think I might sneak some furniture down there. And speaking of which, um, it got very dark at night, so we will have to have some elegant lighting solutions. There! <laughs> Brilliant! Um, actually, I will put in some... I think I've got these uh, slightly better lights, I think, which I'll put in there and there. And down here... We can have... Have we got any lights left here? Oh yeah, we've got these. We've got these um, fairly shitty ones. That can keep the bottom of the ship nice and light. That's, there we go. <laughs> An inspirational poster at the bottom of the rocket. Uh, I'll put some more furniture in later, I think. Uh, I've used this rather shitty um, uh, heavy stone block to sort of like replicate the dark bits on the spaceship design. It's not great, but hey, what else is new? Oh god, ow, 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 ow. So I just need to quickly finish off the girders. I also need to connect the rocket up to the girders as well. So I will need, I think a, s oh god, there needs to be a door, doesn't there? Uh, okay, hang on. Um, just get out of the way of the rain again. See what kind of doorage I've got. Modern sliding door, that'll do. I think a portcullis might be taking the piss just a little bit. And go back up again. Okay, so literally just going to put it inside here. And that. And that. And now you can get in. Let's actually let's um, do that. Let's, let's do... I've also put in some... Because for some reason it feels wrong without some background on there. Um, and that, that also means we can finish off the point. Um, oh, well, it's symmetrical. I mean, it's, it is an odd number. It, oh, that's, that's good. Right. Point! Pointy rocket. Um, there we go. Look at that. Uh, oh, we, Automatic sensor? No, I don't, I don't think we better have an automatic sensor, otherwise, if the rocket's in space, we'll all explode or something. Um, okay, so that means this needs to go out... There we go. Out to here. Ow, 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 ow. Hang on. Like that. Uh, quickly heal up. Um, and now I can get a small steel elevator and finish this bit off. A hey, voila! A nice, simple, straightforward, short elevator on top of a long elevator. So you do need a bit of timing to be able to do that. But I'm sure these astronauts are tough enough to do that. We've also got this tiny extra bit of room here for no particular reason. And of course we've got a nice little bunker vent there. Looking all very nice. In fact, I, I like that so much I might put a, a couple more in. Um, there they are. Put one in on the very top of the ship. Um, for some reason. And because also we take it off from the toxic planet, I think it's only fair that we have a little payload at the bottom. Um, we're going to take our toxicity to other dimensions. Ha ha ha! Take that Vulcan or something. Uh, yeah, okay, so let's go and find some... Let's go and find some lava. Right, I could go to another planet, but I've got a better idea. Um, oh! Did that... We're supposed to actually not do that. Um... Oh, we're above the bloody base. Whee! This is more like it. Yes! Ooh, more pipes as well. Right, okay, so now we're at the bottom of the level. Not quite, but enough. Now I'm just going to literally do a dig down. Oh, what's that? I've just got a, a toxic flower backpack. Oh, ooh! I actually got a chest. Right. 
Explosive barrel. Oh, cool! Let's do that. And um, that's an air tank. That's the one I need to get rid of. Yeah, there we go. And that's decorative stuff. I sod that. So now, now I've got an explosive barrel on my back. Yes! Oh, this is this is cool. I like this a lot. So yeah, I'm just going to literally dig down to the bottom of the planet. Oh, blimey. This is filling up quite horribly. And hopefully, we can actually get down to the, the lava layer. Whee! What the hell are you? Right. <laughs> I just fell into a lava cave. Um, after a lot of digging. Um, ignore the ice. I think I'm, I, uh, my inventory might be absolutely full now. Um, so I really should get rid of some of that. I uh, don't want any of that. And now I can just get some lab. Ow. Fell in. Fell in. Fell in. Ow. Bernie. There we go. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, just get the lava. There we go. Do, 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 do. Oh, look, there's some bloody um, crystals in the background. That's stuff that you need to power your ship early on. Or whatever it is. I can't remember. One of the quests, anyway. Uh, what's going on? I'm crunching. Is this going to be enough lava, do you think? And this, all I need to do is fill up those 136. Possibly need a bit more than that. Okay, that was a faff and a half. So I need to fill this up with lava. I'm not going to get a huge amount. But it should be enough. Yeah, there's plenty. There we go. Nice and nuclear. Look at the way the, the lava is so close to the radiation barrels. What can possibly go wrong? Uh, let's put that back. Yeah, that's rather sweet. That's rather cool. Nice little rocket. I really want to put some um, names and things on it, like NASA or some evil version of that. Like, um, Bassa. Duh. Duh. No, that doesn't work at all. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'll, put, I'll get some signs later from the outpost, I think. Or maybe some dangers or something. I'll, I'll work it out. Um, now I think I need to do with the launch control room, which is going to be a bit like this. I kind of like wish I'd use this, to be honest. Um, yeah, fuck it. <laughs> I don't really want to keep on... I don't want to build another building. I think that would be a bit of a waste of time. So yeah, this can be the control room, which means um, I might redesign it slightly. Um, or in other words, just get rid of all that, um, because you can easily make that jump. I just don't want it to be, um, uh, oh, oh, god damn it. I really need a f few chairs and things, but I don't want it to be huge, I don't want to spend all day on this. I've also got myself a new teleporter, by the way, um, which I'm going to probably put in, I could really do it, putting it in here. Is that bloody lever? I could put it in there, but there's that bloody lever in the room. Ugh. Right, okay, so let's refurnish this with some slightly more scientific stuff, again. Right, okay, so I think the rocket is basically complete. I feel like I want to stuff it full of much crap as possible, such as a really small drain. <laughs> uh, in fact, yeah, this, the arcade machine can go here. And for those long voyages to Uranus, T, he, he. Um, but yep, yeah, so I've got this, um, this is all nice at the bottom. Oh yeah, I've installed a drinks machine um, right next to the, the rocket. Uh, and this is, this is now the, um, the teleporter room. This is O'Brien's lair. Um, oh, okay, here we go. Um, well, I can't remember my naming system. I think it's Toxic. That's Toxic Lair. Rocket. There we go. Accept. Uh, hopefully. Well, whatever. Yeah, that'll, that'll do. Um, my naming system's a bit fucked anyway. Um, but yeah, it means we can now, if we really wanted to, we can beam across um, to... Well, just literally just across the planet, which is rather convenient. There we go! We're in our hidey hole. Why did I come here? Uh, can't remember. Oh yeah, we need to do, we need to finish off um, with one last thing on our little rocket thing. Um, let's go back again. I was going to do a moon, wasn't I? Ugh. Okay, I'll do a really t I'll do a token moon. Um, I, I, wanted a I want a satellite dish and I want a moon just to finish things off. Uh, uh. In fact, I don't know why that's on there. Go with that. I'll, I'll build on top of here. It's going to be a really shit one, by the way. I warn you now. Uh, oh, it's fucking rain. Um, okay, let's um, heal up. Um, antidote in case I fall in the ocean, somehow. Uh, and this is going to be such a token effort. Um, we need a base. There's actually s actual satellites in the game, aren't there? There's actual actual furniture satellites somewhere. Uh, well, if I find those in my travels at some point, I'll, I'll replace this. But for now, this is just going to be as... I can't... No... I was going to make this great, big, and grand. Instead, it's going to be tiny. It's going to be teeny tiny little satellite dish. 
Hee 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 hee. There we go. Um, and it needs a kind of utterly worthless kind of pole thing in the middle. Oh, this is so token. <laughs> do, do. There! Finished! That's a satellite dish. Fuck knows what it's pointing at. <laughs> but it's it's pointing at something. Accusingly. Right. Right, no, okay. Finally, we need to do the moon that this this is going to go to. Um, I suppose I just have to go up in the air, aren't I? And build it. Oh, this is going to be a nightmare. Up. 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 Up we go to the bloody moon. Hey! And what am I going to make the moon out of? Um, there is actually moon dust in this game, isn't there? Or moon mud. <laughs> moon mud? Wait, what? Um, no, there is, there is actually moon rock in this, but I I could go to the moon and get it. Um, fuck it. Yeah, let's do it. Um, the I, I can only make a moon out of a moon, can't I? I mean, otherwise it just it's just silly. Do 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 mysterious music. What is this? Oh, this, this is actual moon dust. All right. Um, do I, I don't really, I'm not sure I really want it to be made out of moon dust. I kind of like want. There, there's moon rock. Here we go. It's going to be a really shit grey moon, um, which looks like pretty much any other material in the game. But at least we'll know it's a proper moon thing in me, Rob. Oh, I've broken everything. Okay, this is going to be a small moon. Um, how do you, To do a perfect circle in Starbound, what you have to do is work it out mathematically, uh, and then chuck it in the bin and just go, this! <laughs> Actually, that, could, that worked a lot better than I expected. Um, that's actually quite circular. Ah. Okay, there's some, let's put wheels within wheels and layers within layers, and it's a hollow moon. Um, basically. Um, oh, I've run out of that. And there we have it! Moon! Oh, there's got to be a man in the moon, hasn't there? Hang on. Um, let's, um, let's see. Let's, 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 let's give him eyes and a, and a gob. Because the man in the moon is basically looking at you going, Oh! It's like the Frankie Howard of planetary bodies. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. There it is. It's also got a little beauty spot. That's the man in the moon. It's fairly poor. <laughs> no. We've got a spare one of those. Right, so that's our tiny, tiny moon. I think let's just let's just um, give this make this a little bit of an Easter egg type situation. Um, well, first of all, let's just <laughs> let's put some radioactive crap on, in, in the moon. And let's... A danger sign? Um, well, it can light the moon up anyway, from within. Um, anything else that would be fun? <laughs> oh, someone could live in here! I wonder, that's, I wonder if I could actually possibly do that. Um, put in a chair. Put in a colony deed. Please work. Please work. Oh no, it's just complaining. Because there could actually literally be a man in the moon in this race, if I can just get this working. Yes! Uh, the one thing I actually forgot, um, a door. So hello, mate. I'm sorry about the weed killer thing. <laughs> Alright, so there it is. There's the man in the moon, quite literally. Uh, I've just destroyed his house. Um, but that's okay, it's, it's okay. Just sorting it out. There we go. I need to put, put his furniture back and everything will be fine. Um, in fact, give him... Maybe we should give him something else as well. Uh... Oh, there's, there's no room to put anything. No, I forgot I'll just put a danger sign up. Right, so, see you later, mate. Mate, uh, I've just got to tear down all this gunk, um, and everything will be fine. Okay, down we go. Do, 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 do. Okay, so I think the, um, the, the, the toxic layer is starting to feel quite complete, so I don't know how much um, how many more episodes we're actually going to do with this. Um, so hopefully we'll do another episode next week, if I can come up with any actual ideas. Um, but I also want to do other stuff in Starbound as well. I do want to have a look into the Nightlies, so we can have a little snapshot of stuff that's coming up in Starbound 1.0. Um, the Nightlies, if you don't know, are kind of um, developer builds that they put out every single night, and are completely incomplete and broken, but it shows you the direction the game's going. So I might have a dip into that and see what's going. So maybe I'll see you again next week in the, t in, in the Toxic Lair. Hopefully we will, because um, uh, okay. it would be nice to have a nice concluding episode for this at some point. But yeah, anyway, subscribe to be notified about future Starbound episodes and a lot of other stuff as well, and I shall see you next time. Just have one glorious last look at the rockets. The Subby Cow 2. Shout out to Subnautica.
Okay, see you next time. Bye-bye.